Hi, this is Meryl Davis. I'm one of the executive producers on Outlander. And today I'm going to tell you the story of how we found our Claire, Miss Katrina Boff. So we we're three weeks away from shooting, as most people know, and did not have a Claire. And Tony Graffia was up all night looking on the internet to find unknown British actresses to see if there was anyone we had missed since we'd combed through hundreds and hundreds of audition tapes and found Katrina saw a couple interviews with her and said, oh my God, check this actress out. She's really interesting. She sounds amazing. What other pieces of sage advice did they give you? We realized that Katrina had in fact auditioned for the role of Claire before, but we'd never somehow seen her audition. So we immediately pulled that up, watched it, and in that instant knew we had our Claire. In casting, you watch certain scenes over and over and over again. And usually they're iconic scenes and scenes you love. But after you've seen them 10,000 times, you start not to love these scenes that you previously loved. When Katrina read that iconic scene, stop, stop help, he's going over, that scene sang again to us. It just was music to our ears and we realized in that moment that we'd finally found our Claire. And we didn't even bother to talk to Katrina on a video conference. We just immediately said, let's get her out to LA if she's not there already. Let's put her in front with Sam, do a chemistry test because we think we have our lady. So Katrina in real life embodies so many of the characteristics that Claire has. She's smart, she's strong, she's funny. And all of those attributes transfer to the screen when she plays Claire. So here are Katrina's original auditions. We hope you enjoy them as much as we did. He has a pulse and he's breathing. I think he just fainted. Get a saddlebag, put it under his feet, and if there's water, bring me some. His gunshot wound started bleeding again. An idiot's been stabbed as well. I don't think it's serious, but he's lost a lot of blood. I'm all right, just a, a wee bit dizzy. You are not all right. Couldn't you tell how badly you were bleeding? You're lucky you're not dead, gallivanting around the countryside, brawling and fighting and throwing yourself off horses. Oh, no, come on, you goddamn bloody bastard! Never heard of one use such language all my life. Your husband should tan you, woman. St. Paul says, let a woman be silent. You can mind your own bloody business, and so can St. Paul. But turn him to the left. And if you so much as move one muscle while I'm tying this bandage, I'll... Bloody well throttle you. Oh, Fritz, is it? After I shared my drink with you. No more alcohol. It's tea he needs. Water at the worst. No spirits. Tend to your business, woman. We've a good way to get tonight, and he'll need whatever strength the drink can give him. He needs rest. We've a good 15 miles yet to go. Five hours at the least, and more likely seven. We'll stay long enough for you to stop the bleeding and dress the wound again. No much more than that. Randall won't give up so easily. He left the trolls out in every direction by now. We can't stay here. You know Randall? Black Jack Randall, that is. Aye. I won't risk you or anyone else being taken prisoner by that man. If you can't fix me up well enough to ride, then you'll all be leaving me here with a loaded pistol so I may determine my own fate. You could have told me you were stabbed before you fell off the horse. It was a bayonet. I thought it go in, but it didn't hurt at the time. Does it hurt now? Aye. Good. Right, well, I've done all I can do. The rest is up to you. Thank you, Sassanac. Truly. Not on your feet, soldier. Was it like you thought it would be? Almost. I had a thought. Oh, uh, never mind. Tell me, what did you think? I'm not going to tell you. You'll laugh at me. I promise. I would laugh. Tell me. All right. I didn't realize you did it face to face. I thought you must do it the back way, like horses, you know? I know that sounds silly. It's just, well, you know how you get your ideas in, in the head when you're young and then somehow they just stick there? You've never seen people make love before. Of course I have, but generally under the bedclothes, you know, like I couldn't tell anything except the man was on top. Not much I knew. Mm. I noticed. Oh, did I squash you? No, not much. Really, is, 
Is that what you really thought? Yeah. I saw a man take a woman plane once out in the open, but that, well, it was a rape, was what it was, and he took her from the back. It made some impression on me, and as I say, it's, it's just the idea stuck. I want to ask you something. What's that? Would you like it? Yes. I did. Oh. I thought you did, though. Mercer told me that women generally don't care for it, so I should finish as soon as I could. <laughs> and what would Mercer know about it? Well, slower the better, as far as most women are concerned. Well, you'd know better than Mercer. I had considerable good advice offered me on the subject last night. A good bit of it sounded very unlikely to me, though, so I thought I'd best use my own judgment. Well, it hasn't stayed you wrong yet. What other pieces of sage advice did they give you? I couldn't repeat most of it. As I said, I think it's likely wrong anyway. I've seen a good many kind of animals mate with each other, and most seem to manage it without any advice at all. <laughs> what animals have you seen mate? All kinds. Our farm was in the forest, you see, and I spent a good deal of time there, hunting or seeking cows as I got out and such like. I've seen horses and cows, of course, pigs, chickens, dogs, and even a pair of snakes. Snakes? Yeah. Did you know that snakes have two cogs? Male snakes, I mean. No, I didn't. Are you sure about that? Yeah. And both of them fought like this. Must be rather uncomfortable for the female snake. Well, she appeared to be enjoying herself, near as I could tell. Snakes haven't got much expression on their faces. Take your shirt off. Why? I want to see you. Well, then fair's fair. Take yours off as well. Haven't you seen a woman naked before? Yeah, but not one so close and not one that's mine. You've got wide hips. You'd be a good breeder, I expect. <laughs> I know once is enough to make it legal, but... Um... You want to do it again? Would you mind very much? No, I wouldn't mind. 